start class. I started recording. Okay. So yesterday, till uh, till Thursday class, we discussed about uh, how to implement chart of accounts. So we completed implementation of enter in implementation of enterprise structure. We complemented implementing the enterprise. Now we have to implement ledger. So the four prerequisites to implement ledger are chart of accounts, accounting calendar, currency, accounting methods. So we define chart of accounts as well as we define the accounting calendar also. Currency, Varak is providing seeded currency. A, all, uh, for each and every country currency is available by, uh, available in application. It is uh, defined by Varak only. So we don't need to create again currency on our own. Accounting methods. So accounting methods is a financial con concept. So it is uh, not useful for you, but uh, we can use standard accounting methods only. So again, in the chart of accounts, creation of chart of accounts, we have internal setups. So chart of account, okay, we need to define chart of account value set, chart of account structure, chart of account structure instance, deploy flexi field, and chart of account value set values. So we deployed flexi field as well as we even created accounting calendar. The, so the only pending setup is chart of account value set values. So any company, so we discuss structure. So we defined the segments, company segments in the chart of account structure. For segments, we have a value set also. But what these are called values. Tata Motors or purchase account, sales account, department, store department, or finished good department, or location, Hyderabad location or Bangalore location. So these require these are nothing but values. So we need to assign values in the value set. We need to assign values in the value set. So let's uh, define this setup, assigning values in the value set. So our class starting with sk underscore user one, this is the user we are using. <coughs> See, this is a dashboard, nothing but home page. So select setup and maintenance. <coughs> select setup and maintenance. So select procurement offering. So for most of the setups, you can use a procurement offering navigation only. So in, for initial phases, rather than confusing by using other navigations. So select financial reporting structures. Here we have chart of account value set, manage chart of account structure completed, man of chart of account structure instance completed. So the pending setup is what manage chart of account value set values. So before uh, assigning the values, I will show you one more thing. Okay, so what are the values required? For example, we have company value set.
so first column is what company value set account value set department value set location value set so what are the values we are going to maintain the company value set so we have companies like tata motors another company tata steel so we have one more company tata power So we have total three companies. So what are the accounts usually we are going to have? So whenever we are purchasing something, some material from supplier, so purchase accounts will hit. So purchase account. So we want to sell some goods to the customer. So when we are selling something to the customer, sales account will come into picture. Uh, this is actually high level over on accounts. The uh, original accounts will be different, but others say financial concept. So we want to maintain some material transactions in inventory. Material account. So we are purchasing some material from customer. So when we are purchasing material, so our liability is going to be credit nothing but before making the payment so initially supplier is going to wait for payment so at that time liability is going to credit once we will pay the money so liability will be debited liability nothing but goodwill so when we are paying in time then only we will get goodwill so goodwill nothing but liability liability account And one more account is what? So we have to pay tax to the government. So whatever we are, uh, we have operations. So across operations, we need to pay tax to the government. So in this case scenario, tax account will comes into picture. So tax is fine. Whatever the revenue generated in our uh, entire business, so we call revenue, whatever the income, net income or out income, gross income, whatever all the money we are going to say is a revenue. Revenue nothing but what is the total revenue or total sales of our business. And sales and purchases, what is total revenue? So that is nothing but a revenue account. <coughs> so these are the some basic accounts so we are going to use. Whatever we have the transactions, we can post in the miscellaneous. Uh, so what about the transaction, dispatch transactions? So for those reasons, we will create on miscellaneous account, miscellaneous account. Miscellaneous account. Okay. So these are the some accounts we are going to use and departments. So what are the departments usually we are going to have in our uh, organization? We are going to have sales department. So who, who's going to take care of our sales and uh, purchase department. And whatever the, all the materials in our inventory, we are going to store in sub inventories. So that will take care by stores department. And for dummy purpose, I'm creating one more department, no department. Okay, and locations. So what are the locations we have? Our uh, business, we have Hyderabad location. Bangalore location. Delhi location. And for dummy purpose, I'm creating as a no location also. <coughs> 
okay so these are the values we are going to define in our we are going to assign in the value sets so this is the managed chart of account value set values so how we need to assign values in the value set so first search value set so what is our value sets sk percentage we created sk underscore company value set sk underscore account value set anything uh, we created i uh, started with sk why we use sk just for a simple reference set of search so these are the four value sets uh, we have created so let's start with the first one sk company value set so select sk company value set select the manage values manage values nothing but we are going to add values so how to create assign values in the value set is so navigate to manage chart of account value set values uh, page and in the search button select value set code so search your value set code so we are going to get the list of the value sets we are going to define so select uh, if you want to assign company values select company value set Select manage values. Select manage values. So again, so this is the company value set and this is the description. If we have any values, we can search. So whatever the defined values in the whatever the values available in value set, we can search. But as of now, we didn't create anything. So we won't find anything when we search. So select create. Create nothing but a plus icon or else you can create from actions also. So select create. <laughs> so value. So what is the max length of the value we have? So remember when you are defining value sets, maximum length we given two. That means for example, if I selecting 100, so this is what a company value set, Tata Motors company value set, Tata Motors. See, what is this red icon, why it came? Because it is not allowing more than two characters in the length. So the length is 100, nothing but a 3. See, the value 100 is too long. In the value set, SK underscore company value set, the length of the value cannot exceed 2 characters. So we given maximum length is 2. That is the reason why it is not allowing more than 2 characters. So select a 10. Now it is going to allow. Till 99 it is going to allow because we given minimum value is 0, 0 and maximum value 99. So description, Tata Motors. So start date, whatever the star icon is there, that is mandatory. So remaining is not mandatory, but description, this give the description. So otherwise you will confuse what is the account. Okay, so value attributes. What are these value attributes? So this is nothing but when we are defining segment, company segment. So when we are defining company segment, so we have labels. So in the labels, we have given balancing segment. So balancing segment uh, because of the reason, this allow posting, allow budgeting, why these two comes in, came into the picture is because we enabled balancing segment. That's nothing but this that the account values is going to post in the general ledger, whatever the company, as well as for account, we give a natural account segment. That is the reason these value attributes came. So why this one came? Because the labels, flexible qualifiers, we can say qualifiers also. In the qualifiers, so we have given balance, primary balancing segment value. So select summary, no. Allow posting, yes. Allow budgeting, yes. Nothing but we are going to post these values to the general ledger. Allow budgeting, just nothing but we are going to allow to budget uh, this account. So select uh, save. So this is a value 10 description data models is fine. Allow posting and allow budgeting, you can keep as S only. Select save. 
select save and close so once you save automatically the value is going to be disabled so this is what you can see in uh, other features also when we are defining chart of accounts also once you save chart of account uh, name is going to be grayed out so grayed out nothing but you can't make any changes whatever you want to change you can change in description only. so we created one value so select a uh, few more values so what are the other values start are still data power so select to create again Select create, select value. I am taking this time 20 Tata Steel. So, enough. So, start date is not good. If you want, you can give the start date and date. Start order. Start order, nothing but what is the order? Uh, how we have to display the order? Means, for example, 10 is ascending value or in the descending value, you can see the uh, values in search button. So these are the not required value attributes summary no allow posting yes allow budgeting yes just keep like that only select save So Sharad, can we go directly save and close? Yeah, you can directly go for save and close. But uh, why we are uh, uh, using this save button is once you save, still you are going to be in this page only. So if you select save and close, automatically the page will close. So in the scenario, you can't refer yourself what you have created. So you can directly go for save and close. So I will show you that one also. Then automatically value will uh, create it, value will get created. Just to cross verify ourselves, we are doing initially save and then uh, save and close. I will go with uh, save and close now. See, we need to create one more value. Select to create. Thirty data power. Select a save and close. So directly save and close also look. So let's search whatever the values uh, we created. Select percentage. Select uh, search. Sometimes a direct percentage will work in uh, some other fields. A direct percentage won't work. Won't work. See, Tata Mota, Tata Steel. Initially, we go for a save and a save and close. So, Tata Boss will directly perform save and close. So, automatically, this value is save. Just to cross verify only, we are doing save and a save and close. Okay. So, we defined three values in the company value set. So, this is a, so we defined three values in company value set. So, let's save and close company value set. Similarly, we need to define values for account value set, department value set, and a location value set. <coughs> so 
So company value set is done. Next is what account value set. So select account value set, select manage values. So uh, to create a value, so to assign value, select to create. In real time, we are not going to create each and every value manually. In real time, any values we are going to directly import into the sheets. So that's nothing but ADFDI concept, uh, which we are going to explain at the end of the batch. So here, if you see value attributes, we can find summary, yellow posting, yellow budgeting is one. Again, we have more than another four values. What is the account type? What is the third party control? Is it reconcile or not financial category? Why this four came extra? Because we have selected flexible qualifier as natural account segment. When we are defining chart of account structure for a company segment, we have selected balancing segment, primary balancing segment. So the, for primary balancing segment, only three value attributes will come because only is it going to post or not? Are we going to budget or not? That's enough. So this is the natural account segment. So nothing but, we, so we will define purchase account or sales account in the names. But how system will know what is the functionality? So what is the functionality of that account? How, what is the impact of that account? There's nothing but account type. Is that liability account, a revenue account, owner equity, or a asset account? So that is the reason we have account types. We can uh, define our own uh, account types also. And we'll add one more account actually. So one more mandatory account we'll add, one more mandatory account. So retained earning account, retained earning account. So we have one more mandatory account, a retained earning account. I will create first this one, retained earning account. So why this retained earning account? So to create ledger, what is the entire retained uh, earnings on our uh, business is mandatory so for that one we need to define retained earning account value so sk account value set what is the value what is the max length uh, for account value set we have given max length is four so it will be sell at uh, four letters if you select more than four that means five letters it won't allow let's see retained earning account So retained earning account, account type is owner's equity. Uh, please uh, note down. So for retained earning account, account type is owner's equity. So it is uh, mandatory. So please remember or please note down. So for retained earning account, we have to select account type is owner equity. See, it is not allowing again. Why? The max length is four characters only. So we have given five characters. So let's keep as a thousand. So till nine, 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 nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine value we can select. So select value thousand description retained earning account. So summary no allow posting yes, allow budgeting yes. Uh, please keep default only account type. So account type is a owner equity is a mandatory. So we have to select a owner equity account type for retained earning account so third party control no it's okay uh, this is the financial concept so with you please uh, keep as a, a defaults only reconcile also no you can keep default seller financial categories are not required so what category it will come 
is this comes into income tax goodwill account payable so for example this account where this account will comes into picture so we create purchase account so when purchase account will comes into picture we have to make the payment to the supplier payment way from where we are going to maintain account to payables uh, um, offering so this account where it will comes into picture is this comes into account payables or account receivables so the, this is nothing but financial category for which financial category this account is belongs again this is a financial concept so just keep this one so select value select the description retained earning account so remaining keep our defaults only and uh, for our account type for retained earning account select owner security select save <coughs> Select uh, save and close. So let's create another values. Select create. So we created a retained earning account. So we will create other accounts also. So I will create a for. So select a thousand one. Chase account. So for purchase account, the select account type is a revenue. Select save. Select a save and close. What I will do is initially I will create only three accounts. So later, whenever we require other accounts, I will create at that time. So you will understand why that account uh, needed. So initially we need retained earning account. So and we need a liability account as well as one miscellaneous account is enough. So initially what I'm going to do is I will create a retained earning account and one miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous account and one liability. Liability also not required. So initially I will create only two accounts and uh, remaining accounts whenever we required I will create. So you will understand why these accounts will needed and where it will come into the picture. So if I create all the accounts now, so uh, rather than that, so whenever we need, if we create at that time, that is uh, enough. Okay. So select uh, create. We will create, we'll create one, one more account. There is a miscellaneous account. So I will select a uh, 9999 as a miscellaneous account. So what is the account type? You can select the revenue or anything. Revenue is fine for miscellaneous account. Select a save and close. <laughs> we'll create remaining values whenever we require, so we will understand why that value is required and where it will come into the picture. So we created account uh, value set value so these are enough uh, at this moment Start save and close so we created company value set values as well as values for account value set also Let's create a values for department value set. So select a department value set. Select a manage values.
so sales department purchase department stores department or no department so select create So what is the maximum length per department value set? We have given only two. So let's create uh, with the two characters only. Description, you can write a uh, n number of characters. Okay. So select a 10, a description, sales department. Uh, this is enough. Hello posting, hello budgeting is okay. Select uh, save. Select save and close. Okay, let's create uh, another values. So 20 purchase department. That's in close. Self create uh, create uh, one more value of stores department. Self so save and close. And I will create one more dummy value, uh, dummy account, dummy department. So, some nine nine, no department. So, same close. Okay. Select the save and close. So we defined the values for company value set, account value set, and the department value set. So one more is pending location value set. So let's finish quickly. So location value set also. So select location value set, select the manage values.
ge self create so hyderabad location Saving close. This is enough. Value and description is enough. Select clear. Angular location. App seven plus. Again, select value 30 Delhi location. Select save and close. Okay, we'll create one more dummy location. So nine nine, no location. So we get it for values after save and close. So we have created values for our four value sets. We have created for company value set, account value set, department value set, as well as a location value set also. So to implement the ledger, chart of accounts required. Again, in the chart of accounts, so we need to create chart of account value set, structure, structure instance, deploy flexible, as well as value set values. So we have completed all these four setups. Again, uh, accounting calendar is completed. So currency is available, seeded currencies, as well as accounting method also, seeded accounting methods available. So all these setups are ready to implement a ledger. So let's start creating ledger. So usually close this face, uh, save and close. Okay, let's create ledger. Let's select uh, manage primary ledger. So to create ledger, select procurement offering, select financial uh, reporting structures, select primary ledger, manage primary ledger. <coughs> so these are the list of the ledgers available. A uh, few are the seeded Oracle ledgers and uh, remaining are created by other people. So we'll create our ledger, select create. So what is the name? So SK underscore primary ledger. So description, I'm giving same SK underscore primary ledger. 
So, what is the chart of accounts? So, what is our chart of account structure? SK underscore chart of accounts. And what is the instance? SK underscore COA instance. So, see, SK underscore COA instance is our chart of account structure instance. So, select SK underscore COA instance. And what is our accounting calendar? So our accounting calendar is what SK underscore accounting calendar. In the short name we given SK underscore ACC CAL. Select accounting calendar. So currency. See all the currencies available. USD, US dollar, EU or Euro, CBP, pound. So let's uh, set our uh, Indian currency INR. So select INR Indian rupee. Select accounting method. So standard accrual. Select this one. This is a standard accrual procedure so given by our IT uh, uh, team. This is a seeded accounting method. So what is the name? SK underscore primary ledger. Description SK underscore primary ledger. Chart of accounts. SK underscore CBO instance. See, we have defined all these uh, value sets, uh, values, structure and structure and structure instance is what. So finally, we have to get CBO instance. Why the CBO instance need to create a ledger? We need to set a chart of accounts. Nothing but what is the chart of accounts structure instance. And accounting calendar is mandatory. That's why we defined accounting calendar setup. Currency, we can use a variety seeded currencies or we can define own currencies. So, the own currency, nothing but Indian rupee, for example, we want Indian rupee only. We want to naming convention like SK underscore Indian rupee, SK underscore INR. Likewise, we can define again okay. accounting method is standard accrual, this is a standard or I can see accounting method. So, these are the required things to create a ledger. So, what is our ledger name? SK underscore primary ledger. Select after entering all these mandatory values, select save and edit task list. Yes. Yeah, yes, Ramo, please tell me. This method here we are selecting as a standard. Yes. Means, uh, the standard approval would be used, uh, used across the upper instance level. Sorry, actually, your voice is uh, not clear, Ramo. Uh, we are selecting the accounting method, right? Yes, standard, standard approval. Yes. Usually in uh, EBS. We will use uh, in the organization level so that uh, like a uh, standard. Uh, no, no, no. We are not using organization level. Whatever in EBS are told, you are using organization level. Those are organization in the organization parameters. You are selecting required organization accounts like material, okay. material overhead, resource overhead. This is accounting method, nothing but sub ledger accounting method. So, where in EBS are told in general ledger only you are going to create sub ledger you are going to assign sub ledger accounting method there also you are going to find standard approval only the name so whatever in EBS are told you are using those are inventory accounts okay thank you yeah. so we have created a ledger so next setup is what specify ledger options so we created a primary ledger. So select the specific ledger options. It is giving a scope option. Nothing but select the specific ledger option. Select the primary ledger. So in this drop down, you will find select and add. Nothing but if you already created a ledger, you can select and add that ledger. Or else you can create you. So select and add. So we already created primary ledger. So it's not required to create again. So select. Select, select and add, go to apply and go to task. Select, apply and go to task. See, well, these are the list of the UA ledgers available. So you can drag till down, what uh, till you find your ledger or else you can do one more thing. So this is a search button. In the top level, these fields are search buttons. See, this is a search button. Don't select clear all, select search. Select escape, percentile, 
select enter see we got our select enter select sk percentile and select enter you will find your primary ledger so or else you can drag till down whenever you find your primary ledger so select primary ledger select save and close Select seven close. So general information, no, name, SK underscore primary ledger, description, SK underscore primary ledger, currency, INR, chart of accounts, SK underscore COA instance. See, these are the values given by us earlier. So what is the accounting calendar, SK underscore ACC is here. So first to open the period, April 2017, because we selected accounting calendar from April to March. So from April 2017 to March 2018, we've given our accounting calendar. So first open period is April 2016. So all these values came default. So in any other softwares, in any other ERP softwares, even in Oracle EBS also, this feature is not available. So everything we have to again select manually. So but in Fusion application, so it is very easy. Automatically the system will take so all the values. So sub ledger account, what is the accounting method? Standard accrual. So number of future enterable periods, something about how many future periods? For example, we are in August. So we want to open, say we want to post something in September. So for that reason, we need to enable September. So is this possible? Yes. Number of future enterable period is one. So we can open September period also. So we are in August, but we want to open October period also. So in that case, is it going to allow if you select one? No. You have to give number future enterable periods is two. So nothing but how many future periods you can open. So journal language. Journal language. Yeah, you can select English only, American English. So US, American English. What is the language we are going to post our uh, entire journals in the ledger? So, what is the retained earning account? So, retained earning account, nothing. What the total retains on our uh, uh, business in this particular ledger comes into the retained earning account. So, we already defined retained earning account. So, uh, but remember, retained earning account must be owner's equity account type. Or the retained earning account the account type must be owner's equity only or else it won't take the values so to enter a value select this search button this is not actually search this is a select button so select uh, use this select button it's okay now no valued combination so we have one more setup in a general ledger manage account combinations so if you don't do setups, it won't allow to give the account values here. But for retained earning account, it will allow for specific ledger options without defining manage account combination also, it will allow. So select SK underscore company. So this is a company value set. So now you understand that right, why we define all these value set values. See. Tata Motors, this is the value given in value set, SK company value set. So SK company value set assigned to SK company segment. In the SK company segment, we find uh, ten, Tata Motors. Similarly, account we define three values. To give this account, we have defined, not only uh, this account, to give account combinations, we have defined all those uh, earlier setups. So select XK account is a retained earning account. Again, remember a retained earning account, account type should be owner equity only. Select a department. So I'm giving uh, no department, dummy department. 
set up the location So giving dummy location, no location. <coughs> Select OK. OK, we given retained ending account. So journal language is American English. Number of future interval period is one. We started our retained ending account. So default period or rate types average rate types so these are the rate types you are going to use nothing but the currency conversions so all these are not mandatory all these are remaining concepts are related to financial concepts so this till here is enough retained ending account so select a save Select uh, save and close. We have one more mandatory setup in general ledger is a manage account combination. But manage account combination, uh, so we'll uh, let you we'll explain you when we are doing inventory transactions. So you will understand why we need to define that particular setup. So we defined a ledger and we specified the ledger options. So now let's uh, we'll submit accounting configuration program. Nothing but whatever we defined accounts, it is going to configure in the uh, system. It is going to review and uh, it will uh, configure the uh, account. So select a review and uh, submit accounting configuration. See, select uh, this is the ledger we defined. Select uh, SK primary ledger. Select as uh, submit. So accounting configuration process has been submitted. Select OK. See, you can go to Navigator. Scheduled processes. See complete account configuration create balance cubes. So this is uh, running currently. So this is already succeeded. Complete accounting configuration is passed. These two are running. So these are the sub programs. So you can see from navigator schedule processes. So if this is a refresh button. So it will take some time. So this is enough. So after if you verify after 10 minutes, uh, you can find the it is completed status. You can find in completed status. So completed nothing but succeeded. Okay. So we have created uh, So we have completed enterprise, divisions is optional, and we have defined a primary ledger also. So the next setup is what a legal entity. So if we complete a legal entity also, that is a basic uh, financial enterprise structure, and the remaining whatever business unit, inventory, all those related to our HCM and procurement uh, sessions. So tomorrow I will complete a legal entity setup. So from uh, Wednesday onwards, uh, we'll enter into our SCM and procurement uh, sessions. So please uh, complete practice by tomorrow. Uh, 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 please complete whatever we explained till today, uh, complete it today only. And tomorrow we are going to explain legal entity. And please complete legal entity practice on tomorrow. Maybe it will take some one to one, one and a half hour session on tomorrow. Okay. So as of now, anyone have any doubts? Uh, anyone have any doubts till now?
so is it clear for everyone vijay ramu shavanti yes sir okay so i'm going to it's already 8:30 i'm going to close the session for today here so please uh, complete your uh, practice so whatever you have doubts uh, please uh, ask me in the evenings so you can ping me in the whatsapp also as well as so please uh, use uh, this number actually so for any communication you can contact me on whatever the number you already people are in touch or else please use this number this is dedicated for institute actually so please you uh, contact through me or the call or whatsapp on this number okay okay so i'm going to close this session here now thank you everyone for joining the class thank you thank you thank you